What is going on guys, I'm Miguel from ecgym.com bringing you another video today in which we are going to discuss isometric and isotonic muscle contractions and how they can benefit you in muscle building or building muscle strength. So what an isometric contraction is, it is a static contraction or a no movement contraction. So an example of this would be putting your hands together as if in prayer position and pushing them together. Now when you do this, your hands are you know contradicting each other and they're not going anywhere. They're locked in this fixated position and your, your pectoralis muscles are, are locked in this position. So they're not uh, producing any range of motion and they aren't um, necessarily tearing any muscle fibers throughout the entire movement. Instead, they're just strengthening themselves over time in that fixated position. So if you use isometric contractions, um, generally it is for building strength in that fixed position. So people who will benefit from this are usually powerlifters who need to do a lockout or be able to hold something in a fixated position for a couple seconds. So an example would be with the bench press, you know, when you do your lift off and pick up the bar off of the rack, you, you have to hold it for a little bit. You can't just dive bomb and drop the bar onto your chest, it breaks the rules. So a lot of um, power lifters, what they do is they practice just holding the bar as they unrack it and then putting it back. That is an example of the isometric contraction, whereas you hold your the muscles in a fixated position and try to develop strength in that position. So moving on to the isotonic contractions which are dynamic or kinetic contractions. Um, these are the uh, muscle contractions that we you know, do every, every time we go to the gym or produce in everyday life. So an example would be the bicep curl. You're going up, you're going down, you have a dynamic movement in that muscle. Now what this does is it builds strength throughout that entire range of motion. So if you were able to curl 80 pounds on the barbell for your biceps, you would be able to do so starting from any position, whereas with the isometric contractions, you would probably only be able to hold the 80 pound barbell at, at the, uh, the locked or top position, but not be able to do anything else with it in the other range of motion. But you know, it, it's all up to uh, preference, I guess. If you want to be able to hold the barbell up here for you know 30 seconds, then you know do that for your isometric workout or if you want to do isotonic movements which are you know are pretty much essential in all our workouts but you know I'm just making this video to like um, bring up the point that there are two different kinds of muscle contractions isometric and isotonic um, generally in isotonic movements uh, people tend to mix them together isotonic and isometric so what I do generally is I like to do um, forced contractions or just like squeeze at the top I guess with any movement. So with the uh, bicep curl, I like to hold it at the top for one or two seconds, make sure I get as much blood in there as possible, get all the nutrients and oxygen in there, and then focus on the slow negative, hold it there, uh, stretch the bicep, uh, be able to develop strength in that extended position, and develop strength in the, uh, at the uh, top or completed position, I guess. Uh, same thing with the tricep pushdown, or leg extensions, hamstring curls, uh, shoulder press, uh, lateral raises, all these exercises. It is it is good to incorporate a little bit of isometric contractions with your isotonic contractions because you are forcing more blood and more nutrients and oxygen and everything into those muscles in order to produce a better workout and develop more strength and more muscle in, said mu in, um, in that workout. So yeah, I just hope you guys learned a little, little thing from this. Uh, maybe you can derive something from what I said and come up with your own ideas or you know ways to improve your workout using this. But um, that's pretty much it. Just a small quick video to let you know what an isometric contraction is and an isotonic contraction. So if you want to see more content like this, head on over to ucgem.com. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or you want me to do a video on something else similar to this or uh, anything else related to fitness or nutrition, just leave it in the comments below and I'll respond to you as quickly as possible. Thank you. So what this, this is different than they have to be able to do that in order to like, to, um, I guess, win or have a successful lift. Um, and how they can benefit you in your hypertrophy, 